Removable short leg application. For indications where stabilization or support of the ankle joint is required, follow physician's instructions on the proper positioning of the limb. A common position is with the ankle flexed to 90 degrees and the foot neutral with regards to inversion and aversion. Select the Delta Terrinet stockinette that will not be restrictive at the widest part of the limb. Make sure you use enough stockinette to cover the entire leg from the distal metatarsal to one inch below the patella to protect the skin. Roll up the stockinette before applying to the limb to lessen the pressure while applying. Roll on and remove all wrinkles and creases. Then, place a zip stick so that cutting after application gives protection and makes it easier. Make sure the patient's limb position is correct before starting to apply the cast tape. Now, begin by putting on protective gloves before applying the cast tape. Measure with 3-inch or 4-inch cast tape the length from proximal metatarsal to below popliteal fossa to use as a reinforcing strip. Fold over to make three layers, cut, and reserve to the side to be used as a reinforcement strip. Next, dip three or four inch cast tape and reinforcing strip in water and squeeze between one and three times. Remove from water and squeeze one time to remove excess water. Now, place the reinforcing strip on posterior side of the lower leg starting at the base of the foot. Start wrapping the cast at the metatarsals and work toward the knee with 50% overlap while holding reinforcement strip in place. Put some tension on reinforcement strip to eliminate folds and keep the ankle at 90 degrees. Be sure to keep the cast tape below the fibular head, as pressure on the fibular head could cause neurological complications. Mold the cast with the palms of your hands. Allow the cast to initially set and cut off along the zip stick. Once that's completed, trim the borders of the cast for a good fit. Round any sharp corners. When you're finished, Place the cast back on the patient and trim any areas that may cause irritation or limit range of motion. Cut a small piece of adhesive hook and place it on the lateral side of the leg, then attach stretch loop going around the upper leg and secure. Following that, take a second piece of adhesive hook and place it on the medial side of the ankle then attach stretch loop going around the ankle and secure. Next, place a third piece of adhesive hook on the dorsal aspect of the foot, then attach stretch loop going around the foot and secure. The cast tape may be trimmed back at the anterior ankle to lessen chance of constriction. When you're finished, place the cast back on the patient 
and trim any areas that may cause irritation or limit range of motion. Then, remove the cast and apply adhesive fleece edger to the edges of the cast. Cover all the edges of the cast that will come in contact with the patient's skin, creating softer edges. Put the finished cast on the patient's leg and close using stretch loop, and you are finished.